Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be discussing a technique uh, which can loosely be called milking the tongue. And uh, this it's a series of exercises I'll, I'll share, but um, basically this is related to the Hatha Yoga practice of Kechari Mudra, which uh, for those who aren't familiar is a pretty uh, commonly discussed practice uh, within that tradition or a way of working where the yogi will actually cut the frenum of the tongue, which is the little piece of skin that connects the tongue to the base of the mouth, um, so that they can move the tongue into uh, the skull to press the third eye um, um, as a means for you know meditation and all that. And so that's a much more advanced practice. We're not going to get into that, uh, but it does speak to the importance of the tongue uh, and its its workings in the body and its uh, importance in Hatha Yoga, which uh, is not discussed too often um, outside of, you know, more traditional practices. So even if you're not going to cut your tongue, there are still things you can do uh, to work with it uh, because of its central importance within the body. Uh, and also, even if you're not doing, you know, hatha yoga, it still can be a powerful tool to use uh, for just opening up the body and uh, the tissues. And so, uh, some of the teachings around this is is the idea that the tongue is a a switch between the gross uh, and the subtle kind of pranic bodies, uh, because it it's it's basically connected. You know, the tongue itself goes in deep into the throat, but then uh, there's sinews that actually attach, uh, which is this kind of connective tissue that uh, creates connections from the tongue through uh, the legs down to the toes. Uh, out through the arms to the fingertips and in the throat as well as the neck uh, which connect all the way down uh, to the uh, generative organs as well as the anus. So uh, that tongue is a, is a central controlling mechanism for the whole body uh, through this process. And uh, when you get you know, into more advanced practices with Hatha Yoga, it really uh, it can serve to help guide the prana in, in different ways, depending on the needs of the practice, the practitioner, and uh, what's going on there, and uh, control the flow of prana. And so uh, one of the basic uh, tongue positions used is to place the tongue uh, right slightly behind the teeth, uh, so it's not touching the teeth, but right right behind there. This is the considered the uh, wind element position, and so and what happens with this is it helps uh, the prana to flow and brings a certain lightness to practice. It also serves as a point of focus in the practice. It's easy to lose that as you're uh, moving through, but um, it, it's a it's an important part of uh, the you know the postures and whatnot and working with that. Uh, now. Getting into some of these practices and loosening up the tongue, though, uh, which is outside of asana even, but uh, it, it, eventually, it essentially starts with a, a massage of the whole cavity of the mouth. And you can start with taking your three fingers together, the index, the middle, and the ring finger, and gently massaging the base of the tongue towards the back of the throat. And uh, along with this, you can also uh, start to work, actually gag yourself a little bit here. Um, so as if you, you know, you're going to puke, essentially. Um, and what that does is it, it can help clear up some kappa in the stomach. Uh, so it's kind of, uh, you know, brings that up a little. It also prepares uh, for some of these further practices that some yogis might do where they, like, swallow a... Uh, a towel to clear the digestive tract, or nowadays some people use these plastic tubes and uh, gag up, you know, any kind of mucusy stagnation that's, that's happening in the stomach to clear that out since the uh, navel region is so important energetically for these practices. Um, but even just, you know, doing that slight gagging motion can still bring up uh, some stuff and help to clear that or uh, is the beginning stage. Once you do that, you can take 
your thumb and just gently massage uh, the underside of the tongue where that frenum is as well as the sides of the tongue for a little bit and you know these practices are a little awkward at first but uh, just like anything if you do them it becomes kind of second nature and once you're done with that you can take and your thumb once again and just massage the hard and the soft palates moving all the way back to the uvula there where you start getting deep into the throat and then uh, the last part of this practice is uh, really key in loosening up uh, the tongue in this area and this involves taking a cloth, a clean washcloth and then holding the tip of the tongue with your, both your hands and gently pulling the tongue out of the mouth and then moving it up and down about 30 or 40 times and then side to side about 30 or 40 times and this will really loosen up the whole tongue and everything it's connected to and so um, as I said before it's connected to all these different areas of the body so uh, especially if, if you have some um, issues almost uh, in, in you know the the mouth cavity the back of the neck the shoulders this kind of area uh, it can really help to slowly loosen and gently open up those areas from uh, constriction which you know it's not just important for, you know it's important for everyday people but uh, especially the hatha yoga practitioners who are truly trying to open up the body for that free flow of prana and uh, you know you'd be quite surprised how this can you know realign your jaw and uh, you know people who uh, bite a lot at night this can help to soften uh, that clenching kind of action that can happen soften the throat um, all just from working with you know this kind of overlooked part of our anatomy quite often where we're uh, but we use it so much to talk to eat you know it's such a central thing that uh, can really build up and hold a lot of tension in it so nonetheless uh, those are some pretty simple practices uh, I've I've included a link down below in the video uh, to uh, the school I've learned this out of is the shadow yoga school there's a there's a little more details in the shadow yoga book which itself has lots of kind of general outlines and tips like this for the practices um, I'll try and review this book uh, perhaps mm -hmm. as part of the Vedic review uh, uh, down the road but um, you know check that out if you're interested in this and uh, yeah uh, if any of you guys try this be curious to hear your own uh, experiences with it and your own practices. So uh, thanks for listening and namaskar.